everyone, The Flying Scotsman here and welcome to this video. Now, as promised in last week's video, we have something rather special. For those of you who didn't see last week's video, you'll know what it is. But before I get to it, I want to talk a bit about it. Now this item uh, I got actually um, on a Facebook group called uh, Law End Max Swap, and it's, um, it's it's a British, it's a UK wide Facebook group. So uh, you know, I mean, I can get stuff here. Now someone um, who actually watches my videos, he realised who I was when I was um, actually dealing like with him. He um, had this item up for sale for it was 55 quid um, plus shipping. And I managed to get it from him for um, well it was um, 68 pounds because you know including including the shipping because um, Originally it was going to go for 60 but it cost so much to ship that um, I actually had to pay an extra, I think it was £8, to get it to me. But no matter, here we are. Now, this is a laptop bag and it's quite rounded and it actually is designed for the machine that it came with. And I got that for an extra fiver. I got that thrown in. And um, what I didn't know at the time is it's actually a backpack. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I did try using it as such. Because uh, I took it with me to Tina's place. The machine. To have a play about with. Because... Um, in my last video, this place was a bit of a red up, so um, couldn't do much here. Now it's a purple up. Um, anyway, so here we are. We've got the. Um, let's have the big reveal, guys. Oh, yeah. What this is. Is. An original iBook G3. Nice. This is the first iBook to carry the name. So you have the iBook G3, this version, and you have the, um, the Snow, which um, I also have. And then you got the iBook G4, which was white and plastic. Which I, well I had one for a while but it didn't work right. And then you got the Macbook. So, here's the uh, granddaddy I guess of, um, of the Macbook, or the great granddaddy. Now, unfortunately, this machine does not come with a battery and uh, now these batteries are uh, basically impossible to find which is a bit of a shame can't run it off battery however i did get the original power adapter to this machine and that in itself is also quite unique so if you give me a moment here we will take a look at that as well And for some reason, the keyboard to my uh, the keyboard to my uh, Dell Venue tablet is in there as well. <laughs> okay, now the power adapter to this machine is also quite unique, and here it is. Looks like a UFO. In fact, it was uh, referred to as the Yo Yo power adapter and I think you'll see why 
I've, I've never tried using it as a yo-yo and I don't recommend that you try either. But um, it is quite a nice tidy way of keeping the power cable. I do quite like it. However, I mean this is a side that you would want facing up, right? This is where your plug goes in. Now, I don't know if originally, I think there might have actually been a plug that would go with this, but I didn't get that, so I'm having to use a regular clover leaf adapter, which means, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's really something, is it? Anyway, we'll plug it in later and we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. But, um... Okay, so let's have a look around this machine. Well, first of all, you'll note it's uh, tangerine colour. This uh, wouldn't have been my first choice of colour for one of these, but um, buggers can't be choosy. You can't get these, really, for uh, much under 100 quid, sometimes even 200 nowadays. So the fact that I've got one at all is, I think, a good thing. And, and I've got one of these not because I specifically wanted to collect these it's because it's got a nice large ish display with a resolution of 800 by 600 which makes it nice and big for me to be able to bloody see the thing anyway so let's do the usual uh, tour so on the left you um this well first of all i must say that this machine well Obviously, it was designed in the same vein as the iMac, you know, with your fruity colours and what have you, and your translucent plastic. The um, other thing that um, that brought to the table was um, the deletion of legacy parts. So this machine is completely legacy free. So what you had is a modem. Um, Ethernet, which is actually quite nice. It's uh, back in the day. It wasn't actually that common for uh, for these things to come Well, certainly not Ethernet on a consumer laptop and certainly uh, modems again You know, you really don't see that on a consumer laptop either so um, you have also a single USB port um I think that's a combined headphone microphone part, I'm not sure, but it's certainly got a speaker icon. Um, and then on the front, you really don't have much of anything. Um, on the right, not sure what that is, but then you have the uh, power connector. And then on the rear of the machine, you've got this uh, orange uh, hoopy thing. Well, colour, it would be the same colour as the rest of the machine. Um, and I'll tell you what this is. It's a handle! That's, that's what that is. So I think this machine, to be honest, was probably seen as very much a kid's toy. Anyway enough of that oh yeah also on the right hand side i know what this is it's a button to eject this cd rom tray that's how good it is i couldn't bloody see it so anyway let's get this thing plugged in and switched on so we're all plugged in now to open this machine you just lift the front up now, because there's no battery in this machine, there is a slight balancing issue, but... Uh, so, it could quite easily be upset. Although, it um, seems to be sitting pretty steady at the moment. I think it's if you put the screen back a bit too much. Then, yeah, you end up with that. But, um, as long as we're sitting with the screen like that, should be okay. I would like to get a battery for this. And I wouldn't mind getting a G3... Uh, G3 airport card either. Anyway, let's switch it on. 
We'll see though, the, the airport car does not strictly necessary because, um, well, what uses V networking nowadays? Now I have, since I showed this system running, I have actually reformatted it and put my own install of macOS 8.6 on here. And I might have changed the colour scheme. What it does, actually, it's quite clever because what it does is if you've got one of the coloured um, machines, um, then it will actually set the system colours to... Um, it'll actually set the system colours to the colour of your machine. So when this was first installed, it was set to orange. Um, ditto... You know, if uh, if I had, um, well, I used to have a G3, a PowerBook G3, and I used to set it to brown because it was bronze and black. And um, on the um, on the iBook Snow, it sets it to grey. So here we are. So I've now installed Apple Talk on my server. Well, NetaTalk. I think it's called NetaTalk. So I'm going to see if I can connect to my server. Well, guys, the good news is I'm connected to the internet on this thing. The bad news can't seem to uh, get this to um, read my um, Apple Share uh, share. So, I have a USB key, and, uh, oh, yikes, nice, okay, um, I do have a couple of programs, um, first of all, I have Connectix Double Talk. have stuff it expander but it's in a stuff it it's in a stuff it archive how what the hell what the, if i didn't have stuff it what would i use with it what how would i get it out it's like it's like buying a pair of scissors and packaging that you need scissors to open mm. No, that's not, that's not what I'm after. Dot DMG. Why is that in a .dmg file? Okay, so now I have uh, Connectix Double Talk. Here we go, Double Talk.
And there we go. Now this is from the uh, people who originally brought us uh, Virtual PC. There we go. Now, um, is that it? Is that it installed? Oh, there we go. We've got a ConnectX double talk log on thing. Right, let's see if I can. Uh... Oh, there we go. And we can update from version 1.0 to 1.1. I don't know what what's going on here. I think what I might do is um, I'm just going to drop this in here, I think. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. And I can get rid of that. That's, honestly, that is the way you um, properly eject CDs. And uh, floppy disks, actually, in uh, Classic Mac. Classic Mac OS. <laughs> you send it all to the trash can. It's quite funny. Um, I'm going to drop this there. And then I think what I'll do is I will restart the iBook. Well, guys, I did wonder if we were going to have to do this. I've decided what I'm going to do is just restore the iBook. What I have here is a restore disk for uh, Mac OS 8.6 for these clamshell machines. So let's go ahead and uh, get it started. We'll, um, I will run through the entire restore procedure and uh, yeah, we'll get to set the machine up and uh, set up networking and everything all in a one So, I mean, this, for some reason, is going very slow. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to erase Macintosh HD before restoring. Same as selected can uh, volume format extended. Right, this is not going to work uh, because I'm actually booted from the disk. So let's see if I can actually, um, as you can see, I mean, this is going very slow. And this, this is the version of uh, macOS that came 
originally with this machine 8.6 it was using 9.1 and um, the previous uh, owner had actually installed a bunch of utilities on there like uh, Classy Zilla uh, which is a, a web browser um, for old Mac OS versions I mean if all else does fail See what I mean about it? Just, just taking bloody ages. I can't even reboot. Look at that. It's terrible. Right. I'm going to press and hold the C button, which on these uh, PowerPC base Macs will, uh, should get the system to boot from the CD-ROM. Yeah, I think that's it booting from a CD. So rather than installing OS 8.6, what it's going to do is restore. I don't think I've ever really used an image restore on one of these systems before. Yep, starting up. Yep, this is definitely the CD because it has the uh, nice, fe rather fetching CD wallpaper. This is just so 90s. There we go. So what we can do now is we can go to Apple Software Restore. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase the disk Extended. See, it's actually running quite a bit better. The operation could not er will erase the volume Macintosh HD and put iBook HD dot IMG on it. Proceed. So that's what this is going to now do. This will take a few minutes, so what I'm going to do is pause it. Pause the video and I will be back. So that's the uh, restore finished. The volume Macintosh HD was successfully restored. So I'm going to hit the quit button there and it'll be interesting to see what all has been loaded on here. So, the best way to do that is to go to special and then restart. And as you can see, the machine has set itself up to be orange once again. I'm the best, I'm the greatest, I'm the best there ever was, and I'm the best there ever will be. I'm huge, I'm fantastic. Yeah, 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 I know. A lot of people are not going to like that. Sorry about that. It's orange. Come on. And now we have the uh, standard uh, Mac OS setup assistant. Sorry about the high pitched, uh, high frequency uh, while I'm uh, charging my phone using um, 
using a brick. See, it's a brick. Going to set this up with a British keyboard. What is my name? My name is Um, I am not currently observing daylight savings times. Uh, what time is it? It's, um, that might be an idea for me to actually have the time set correctly. Um, it is, um, it's 1.40, I would say, p.m. And... The date is the 23rd of March, 19. Um, yeah, I am in Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, simple finder, nope. Next few questions are about my computers. Um, Password. Excellent. Uh, do I want to share up a, set up a shared folder? Why not? Um, I connect to the network. Well, my printer. Yeah, network. <laughs> Is it not? Is it not able to find any printers? You reckon a Google print enabled uh, wireless networkable laser printer is not uh, supported by Mac OS? Uh, Mac OS, whatchamacallit, uh, Mac OS 8.6. Uh, yes, I could uh, set up my iBook to use the internet. Do I already have an internet account? Yes, I do. Um, I'm going to call it um, Haim and is there an IP address for this configuration? Uh, do you know what? No. Was a DNS server? There we go. Is there an email address? No. No proxies. Just go ahead. Is my computer set up for internet access? Yes, it is. Or at least it should be. Now, the first page is probably not going to come up with anything. But hopefully... 95isalive.com should. And yes, it does. So, I am online. Now, I did set up my network... So that I could um, have an Apple Talk server um, on my actual server. So I'm just going to have a look, see if see what happens. So let's, Apple Talk is active.
Apparently no current zones. Oh, configurations. That might work. Um, import, export. So there we have it. We've got um, Mac OS, um, Mac OS set up. So let's have a look at what applications come preloaded on here then. We do have quite a few uh, things. We've got um, QuickTime, Palm Desktop. Fax something, 5.0. Apple Works. Used to, uh, I remember using this back at um, when I used to go to Newbie. Nice. Um, let's see if there's any themes. I never have had a Mac OS Classic install with any um, different skins installed. It's always been the Apple Platinum skin. Um, but uh, let's see, let's see. I don't, I don't really like the color orange. So let's uh, let's go for something a wee bit more to my taste. There we go. Nice. Okay. Nice. Um, what's bug? Bug them. So this is um, a game. Okay, level one. What am I supposed to do? Can you even see this, guys? You probably can't. Oh, look! It's almost like... Kind of reminds me of it. Um, kind of reminds me of a bug's life. <sighs> All right. So it's just... Like a wee kind of platformer adventure game. I've got to be honest. Not really feeling these graphics. So that's um, so that's bug doom or bug dumb. I'm just gonna go down here to exit. So there you have it. We have um... oh, <laughs> that's a volume. Oh well. Then there's uh, QuickTime and Palm Desktop. So if I wanted to use a Palm Pilot with this, which I might do, I'll go ahead and install Palm Desktop.
So I do like how you get some software with this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to set that up later. And done. And restart. So here's a set route. I've managed to get networking using a bit of software called Dave, which allows me to talk to uh, Samba networks. Trouble is, it's difficult to get a good key. So, whoops, I've uh, opened the wrong thing. So while I can get a network connection, I have to uh, keep inputting the key at startup. And, um, well, if I try and extract files with um, Mac apps on a PC, it'll just kind of make them look like PC files, which is a bit bun fringe, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, however, I do have some uh, apps installed, uh, a couple of which I think I will show you right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop down to 640 by 40, yikes. 256 greys, 256 colours. There we go. thought that was a bit uh, greyer than it should have been. Um, so, let's... Uh... I managed to get Biggie Light working, which uh, gives me a large mouse pointer. Definitely recommended, if I can get a key. Um... Oh, there it is, kid picks. Nice. I'm just going to put the uh, extension strip down there. So, kid picks runs on a Mac pretty much like it does on Windows, except better. So, I'll give you an example on Windows where you'll get kind of uh, dithered and kind of differently shaded squares when you do a certain deletion thing. You get actual patterns on the Mac version. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how fast or otherwise your Mac is. The animations will not ever run too fast. Also, the um, four in the countdown is slightly different. So on the Windows version, it's four, and on the Mac version, it's four. It just this program just seems to have been a lot better written on a Mac. I love the fun ways to delete stuff. Wow. Actually, I think it um, might be an idea to draw something. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> so as you can see, you've got You've got uh, quite some interesting deletion things. And then, of course, there's the uh, kind of mystery delete that will put a picture. So it's like it's like if you're taking a rubbing off of a stone or something like that. That's. Uh, What a beautiful picture. <laughs> so while we have the resolution down so low, let's try, if it's the right disc at least, let's try one of my... Uh, Favourite kids' games. Oh dear! So well, kid picks. So well, so while Kid Picks was uh, better optimized on the Mac, I I would have to say that Fatty Bear's better optimized for Windows plat uh, platforms. And oh dear, because I have the uh, Biggie Light installed, it's not gonna change the cursor.
So that's that. And what I can do now is I um, can readjust the uh, colour depth and uh, resolution back to what it should be. And an old favourite. Yeah, <laughs> an old favourite for absolutely nobody ever. So, before I go, I'd like to show you some of the stuff that, um, some of the internet stuff that this comes with, because obviously it was the late 90s. Back in the day, macOS used to come with um, Internet Explorer, but uh, this machine also came preloaded with uh, Netscape Communicator. Uh, with a much nicer, I must say, looking um, setup wizard. Oh dear. Oops, I think I might have uh, upset my fl ah! flash drive. Oh wow, now there's a familiar sight. <laughs> <laughs> Quintessential internet experience. Netscape on a Mac. So, there you have it. So that was, um, that is um, the Tangerine iBook. I think uh, what I'll do now is I will um, I'll shut this machine down. And there you go. It always unnerves me putting a sled down because you encounter resistance about here. So it always feels like something's trapped, but actually it isn't. It's just the, um, the spring enclosed of the lid. So there you go. So, the iBook G3. Am I happy with it? Yes, I am. Would it be nice if there was an easier way to be able to communicate with my network and the files on it? Yes, it would. Does it really matter in the long run? Yeah, I guess not. I know that um, for Road Geek, what I did do is I set up an uh, FTP server so that he can access his network using FTP. 
So that would be an avenue to go down. It would be very easy for me to spin up an FTP server um, on my server. Not a problem at all. But that um, is something to think about. Anyway. I guess now is the time to end this video, so thank you all for watching, and please join me for my next video. Cheerio, bye.